Most people think of a baseball game as an afternoon affair. You show up at the park, saunter through the turnstiles, and that's when the fun begins. Welcome to Milwaukee. Unless you're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh! Where the game is only half the fun, and the fans here start their game day celebrations very early. Fans get a true taste of the ballpark hours before they pass through the turnstiles. Part food fest, part cookout, the tailgate party is one of Milwaukee's proudest traditions. Seasoned fans show up hours before each game to enjoy all the food, fun, and festivities. Tailgating is a Milwaukee tradition dating back to the 1950s, and no one does it better than the crew from Brewtown. That's why we've chosen Miller Park as having the best ballpark tailgating. There's lots of people doing this. What's the tradition here? Well, we gather around, mm -hmm. we start cooking, we start eating, mm -hmm. we enjoy, we eat some more, we cook <laughs> some more, and then we go in and watch the game. And there are purists out there for whom there is only one way to tailgate, and that's with traditional tailgating fare. What makes a good tailgate? Well, beer, mm -hmm. brats, burgers, mm -hmm. Well, the chips and pickles, you can you know, take it or leave it, but mm -hmm. the beer and the broth and the burgers is essential. These pregame parties are a source of pride at just about every Wisconsin sporting event. And now we're making history here. That begs the question, did tailgating actually start in Wisconsin? If it didn't start here, I think we've taken to high standards that, uh, that it is as, as of today. Food service manager Tom Olson says the fans here have been doing this for so long that the party setup runs like a well-oiled machine. You could have four or five people jump out of the car and they all have their own little assignment. One's the grill guy, one's the cooler guy, one's the charcoal guy. It's, it's really amazing. Not to be outdone, Miller Park has even gotten into the act. They have a large area specifically designated for stadium-sponsored tailgating parties complete with major league talent manning the grills. Now, when I want to find out about how to tailgate properly, I go to a pro's pro, executive chef Andy Tenalia, the Miller Park executive chef. Now, Andy, what's the secret to tailgating success? The secret to our tailgating success is the, a great ingredient. We've got beautiful brats, Polish sausages, and Italians. The key to a good brat is a lengthy boil in beer and onions. Then, they're grilled to the well-done wishes of the Milwaukee faithful. Milwaukeeans just love the charred, really deep, rich color. They don't like to see anything plain like this. We've <laughs> got to cook this for another half hour to really make them appreciate it. Make sure it's dead? Yes, yeah, pretty much. Once the brat is grilled, there's more work to be done. You don't just slap it on a bun and chow it down. And of course, the proper technique is to take a nicely grilled sausage and then dip it in the sauce. Mm-hmm. And then what do you do? Take a nice toasted bun. Mm-hmm. Lay the thoroughly drenched sausage inside and mm -hmm. good helping the sauerkraut on top of that. Oh, that looks good. The secret stadium sauce has been a Milwaukee mystery for quite some time. Nice. And the secret ingredients are? Can't really say it here, but it's, it's a little special blend of ketchup and barbecue sauce. Even though we didn't get the secret of the stadium sauce, there is another Milwaukee invention that one man is always happy to talk about. Ralph Bruno, inventor of the cheesehead, tells us how Chicago fans inspired this notorious hunk of cheddar. Our lovely neighbors to the south had always called us cheeseheads, so that particular day I was reupholstering my mother's couch and I grabbed a piece of foam and shaped it in the shape that it is today and wore it to the game. At first, Ralph was just looking for a way to stand out in a Milwaukee crowd. Well, my buddies weren't even going to walk with me as we approached, uh, at that time it was County Stadium, and until a girl ran up and said, oh, can I try that on? Um, I was just a, an outcast. So mm -hmm. after that, then I couldn't get it back from them because they kept trying, taking turns of wearing it. As a true fan of Wisconsin sports, Ralph is no stranger to tailgate parties. And of course, he has his favorite tailgating fare. With and after the beer, um, I like cheese. Wisconsin's reputation for tailgating has stretched across the country. These fans came all the way from North Carolina, and they are pretty pleased with Wisconsin's version of fine stadium dining. I have never had a brat before, and this is what I wanted, so this is really great. Like all good things, the party in the parking lot eventually comes to an end. Or in this case, it moves inside the stadium. And sometimes, after the game, we come back out and cook some more. Sometimes, it doesn't matter whether the home team wins or loses. If the fans have filled up at their grills, it's always a great day at Miller Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin.
Minute Maid Park is built into Houston's restored Union Station. It's a unique blend of old and new, as a modern stadium is now part of one of the city's most historic buildings. And inside the park, they pay homage to this unique aspect of Houston's heritage in a big way. All aboard! Minute Maid Park is famous for keeping its concessions on track by serving up some Texas-sized portions. And folks around here tell me it's a great place to rub elbows with players past and present. That's why we've chosen Minute Maid Park as the ballpark with the best all-star eats. It's a place where fans can get a big taste of the Lone Star State. One thing about Texas, I've noticed things about down here, everything's bigger down here. Ooh, gee, that's a big burger. And if they're lucky, Fans can even have a brush with baseball greatness. Thank you, Nolan Ryan. I'm gonna turn these burgers. That's right. The strikeout king himself, Nolan Ryan, now supplies beef to Minute Maid Park. And while he doesn't usually spend his days cooking burgers at the stadium, he gives us a special taste of his new career. So, Nolan, you're major league legend. Everyone knows of you as the no-hit king, the strikeout king. It turns out you're also a major league rancher. Tell me about that. Well, that's been a passion of mine ever since I can remember. As, uh, as a little boy, I, I can always remember that I wanted to be in the cattle business, and uh, baseball gave me that, uh, that opportunity. As you can probably guess, cattlemen are very particular about the beef in their burgers. For Nolan, it has to be tender, and he prides himself on delivering extra lean beef. Well, you start off with good meat. If, if you don't have good meat, you don't have a good burger, and that's, that's a basic. I think he knows what he's talking about. The burger comes off the grill. Ryan starts his wind-up. Got onions, you got your uh, tomato, and your, you know, here in Texas, you always got to have a tomato on your hamburger. And the pitch? What do you think? Oh, yeah. That's a, ham, that's a hamburger. Yes, it is. That's got some great beefy flavor, too. Holy moly. Nolan Ryan's beef is pitched all over the stadium. But believe it or not, there's another all-star who's made this stadium his home base. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. You're not going to believe this, but Nolan Ryan just made me the best darn hamburger I ever ate right around the corner. It's incredible. Hey, wait a minute. You're Larry Durker. This former pitcher is now serving fans a taste of the tropics in the place he named after one of his old haunts. My favorite place down in spring training was a place called the Big Bamboo. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Here it is. There you go. Larry's usually around to sign autographs, which is always a big hit with the fans. People here are just, you know, pat on the back. How's it going, Dirk? You know, yeah, I used to watch you play. You're my Astros buddy. Legend. Astro legend. What can you say about it? Sitting next to a legend. Larry's Big Bamboo is all about having a great time at the ballpark. And it shows in everything from the monstrous margaritas to the munchies on the menu. Oh, we got the chili cheese fries, little curly fries. They're great. You know, we got the Nolan Ryan hamburgers, wings. Uh, chili cheese fries at Larry's Big Bamboo. Can't beat it. Everything's better in Texas. While some fans like to cut loose at Larry's Big Bamboo, Others would rather cut into a big meal while watching the game. The best place in the stadium for that? Nine Amigos Restaurant, just beyond right field. It's wonderful to be able to come right here by the field and have a great meal. Everyone loves Tex-Mex in Houston. Here, they serve up Tex-Mex specialties like carne asada chimichurra steak, loco nachos, tia rosa quesadillas, and their famous southwestern meatball soup. And with seating that overlooks the outfield, fans have to stay on their toes. Otherwise, they might get more than meatballs in their soup. Well, that's the best thing about it. You know, you might be talking, but all of a sudden, whenever out of the side of your eye, you'll see a ball coming, right? And you just, oh, right! Hey, and you thank the guy down there for hitting that ball. Very good. Even though a mitt doesn't come as part of the place setting, fans with great hands can have a truly special treat with their meal. This is the greatest day of all time. I was, got food to eat here. We're watching the... Uh, Diamondbacks practice, and guess what? Ball two. You can't, you can't beat it. This is about as close as you can get to the game without actually suiting up and sitting in the dugout. In fact, fans are even close enough to learn a few secrets from the pitchers in the bullpen. So, hey guys, balls always land over here. You ever get a fajita down there? 
Well, I've seen some balls land in some people's nachos, but uh, if it falls down here, we're not eating it. <laughs> Used food is no good, huh? No, no, not at all. Not down here. Up here, it's all good. Whether you're fielding foul balls while enjoying a meal or rubbing elbows with player greats, a game at Minute Maid Park is definitely an all-star experience.